Hi, so I don't usually do this, but I wanted to pivot ever so slightly as I'm becoming more aware of things and what generally happens when I post, but I digress. So the last couple of days, there's been a battle rap between two of the most talented and iconic artists in the hip hop scene. What's going on, I thought? Everybody seems to be having some sort of um, back and forth in this hip hop space. More concerned or more interested in the Kendrick and Drake scenario because they both have obviously been dropping their respective songs, taking what it seems as jabs at each other, which can be perceived directly or indirectly. I love the genre of hip hop, but I digress. My love for hip hop is now the topic of conversation right now. So the topic of conversation is what happened that fueled the back and forth with Drake and Kendrick. They come across as both unproblematic individuals you never hear any one of them in any type of beef not one which leads me to say this as i'm trying to really figure out what essentially happened to fuel this fire for this supposed rap beef the long and short of it is i honestly think it has it has that this has some sort of marketing strategy behind it because one of them must be either dropping an album releasing a product about to release a product because it's not making sense and what better way to generate a buzz and free marketing than to create beef that does not exist and get people hyped and talking like me or something else which i will discuss later i swear i heard a rapper say once that rappers get paid extra to create beef with one another or incite beef in their lyrics like honestly it's almost as if you're watching a boxing match with Davis and Martin and seeing who's going to kind of strike the next knockout below. It's interesting to say the least. I've heard them both drop songs. Drake's last song is very interesting. It sounds slightly rushed. However, his other song, Family Matters, um, he's rapping slow tempo. He's rapping slow tempo at the start and then midway he picks up tempo and starts to go in i really like the second part of of it more so than the first part however the video is quite long i've not seen videos to be that long since like hype william days i think i think the art of storytelling was clearly evident in this video now kendrick's last song is fire last song they are not like us it's got me jumping like what the song is absolutely fire it brings all the heat it brings all the smoke like i've i've dissected kendrick's bar quite literally the line where he said bear with me one second let me put y'all on game yo i knew at that point it was a rap kendrick went in talking about colonization pat all of this stuff and you know what if you go on social media it floods social media literally that's all i hear it had, it had people throwing their hands and doing all types of things in the name of they're not like us, they are not like us. Like I saw a YouTuber, right? I think he kind of forgot where he was or what he was doing. And he started to throw up signs and stuff. And he would try to dissociate himself from their actions, so to speak, while listening to the song, throwing up signs. I'm not gang, I'm a good boy. I was rolling quite literally. I think when you listen to Kendrick's last song, the beat so good that if you're not careful, you don't actually even listen to the words of the songs, you're just bopping to the beat. However, when you listen to the words of the song, it's then you're like, damn, wow, you really went in. You really brought the heat. Here is me listening to Kendrick Lamar's songs. Take a listen. Right now, I'm actually going to listen to Drake's, not Drake, Kendrick's song. I'm the top on the show, nigga. Shape the stories how you want, hey Drake, they're not slow. Rabbit hole is still deep, I can go further, I 
I promise, ain't that song P. Rest? That's for bitch, and you met a boo most wanted. He don't love for you, ball boy, fresh Gatorade or something. Since 2009, I had those came home, y'all didn't deserve him either. From Alonja down to Central, nigga, better not speak on Serena. And your homeboy needs subpoena. That predator moving flocks. That name gotta be registered and placed on neighborhood watch. I lean on you niggas like another line of walk. Yeah, it's all eyes on me, and I'ma send it up to pot. Ay, put the long label on me, I'ma get them dropped. Ay, sweet chin nigga, and I won't pass the ox. Ay, how many stocks do I really have in stock? Ay, one, two, three, four, five, plus five. Ay, devil is a lie, he a 69 god. Ay, big ass niggas need to stay ass inside. Ay, roll your ass up like a fresh pack of zod. Ay, city is back up, it's a must, we outside. Ay, this is the bit that I like. They not like us. 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 That's a kind of time all of us was in chains. Homie still double down, calling us some slaves. Atlanta was the mecca building railroads and trains. This is the bit. second, let me put y'all on game. The settlers was choosing town folk to make them richer. Fast forward 2024, you got the same agenda. You run to Atlanta when you need a check balance. Let me break it down for you. This the real nigga challenge. You call future when you didn't see the club. I'm not gonna lie, this video or this music really sounds, it reminds me of, I can't remember her name, um, the lady that freed the slaves, I forgot her what her name was. This is what the kind of song reminds me of, the kind of, the way the beat sounds, where he drops, when he starts to use like a little bit of the choir in there, and then when he starts to talk about um, colonization and all of that type of stuff, it kind of reminds me of that. Uh, it's not her name's not Cynthia Bailey, I forgot her name was Cynthia something, and she played um, a woman that freed slaves or something. This is what that song reminds me of. I love it, absolutely love this song. I'm, I'm assuming when rappers rap, they're obviously rapping from a place of their own reality to an extent or experiences around them. So I think it will be great to see this to like in a versus battle. They both have their own kind of individual style and delivery of rapping, but it would good. But, but I feel like it'd be good to see who would be better, who would be the better lyricist is on the day. I would like to say Kendrick won this one. They both have different delivery styles, and people will say Drake ain't coming back from this, but he is. He's probably just lining up his flow. Um, but I will conclude by saying this: someone is dropping an album or promoting something, and. All of this is obviously a deflection of what's obviously going on possibly in the music industry right now. Times are changing, not just around the world, but in the music industry as well. There is no smoke without fire. And the bigger question here is, what is really going on beyond the surface? Negotiation, negotiations are happening with apps and labels. What else is going on? Just 